Hi, I'm Rob Simmons, Product Manager with Garrett Advancing Motion. The topic I'm going to present is turbo system optimization. While turbocharger selection is a critical part of your project, selecting the correct mating components is equally as important. Optimizing the entire system ensures that the engine will make the target horsepower and everything functions properly. What I hope you take away from this is not only a better understanding of turbo system components, but also where you can find this information for future use and projects. The areas that I'm going to cover are based on questions that we've received during trade shows and races, as well as areas I feel are commonly overlooked. So let's get started. A water-cooled center housing is a key design feature for improved durability. It eliminates coking by utilizing the thermal siphon effect to reduce the peak heat soak back temperature at the turbine side piston ring after engine shutdown. What is thermosiphon? Thermosiphon is a method of passive heat exchange based on natural convection, which circulates the fluid without the necessity of a mechanical pump. What does this mean for the turbocharger? After engine shutdown, the turbine housing heats up the water in the center housing, which lowers its density. The cooler, higher density water lower in the engine block pushes this water out, and then its temperature increases, and the cycle continues. This circulation of water slowly cools down the turbocharger which eliminates coking and other damage. To maximize the thermal siphon effect, avoid undulations in the water line. To ensure optimal durability of your, your water-cooled turbocharger, always install water lines and take care they are installed properly. This graph represents the effect of center housing orientation to peak temperature after shutdown. The negative degrees on the left side of the graph represent the water outlet of the center housing lower than the water inlet. The positive degrees represent the water outlet higher than the inlet. You can see the impact on peak temperature when the outlet is lower than the inlet. In effect, there is an undulation in the water passage through the center housing. This is why it's critical to orient the center housing so the outlet is higher than the inlet, so water flow always goes uphill even through the center housing. 20 degrees is a good target because the peak temperature performance and it's lower than the maximum angle of the oil drain flange of 35 degrees. Not connecting or improperly setting up water lines can result in damage to the turbocharger. Damage to the bearing can occur as well as coking on the turbine side piston ring, which can lead to oil leakage. This damage greatly reduces the durability of the turbocharger and emphasizes the importance of proper water cooling. This concludes the video presentation. I hope you found this information helpful. As I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, this information is available on the Garrett Motion website, along with other general and technical information. Thank you for your time and good luck with your future turbo projects.